Okay. Given to the uh, uh, Pakistan appeal. Yeah, right. Okay, no, no problem. Thanks a lot. Bye. Well, sometimes that's a bit annoying, isn't it, when you get these calls from the uh, British Red Cross. That's about the third or fourth time since I gave my donation two or three weeks ago online. I don't know. Mind you, it does make you think because things have got a lot worse since. Uh, the uh, disaster start. About 20 million people affected, 4 million with our homes washed away. Apparently they're killing each other now and there's the threat and, of cholera and typhoid and all these things. Yeah, you know, it's easy for us to sort of kind of complain about you know, all these calls being annoying and it's uh, about as welcome as a, a boil on the bum, isn't it? But at the same time, you've got to take into consideration the suffering that's going on and that may mean making sacrifices. Yeah, well, I was just looking through this uh, book. Well, some of you born before 1980 might wonder what this is. This is what we used to use before they invented computers. And uh, it reminds me about Jesus' golden rule. Well, it's quite simple. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Not like I heard one person say, do unto others before they do unto you. That's a bit cutthroat, isn't it? Anyway, I reckon we ought to do more uh, because even though it is annoying, those people really uh, need help, and if we were in that situation, I think we'd want the same. When I think about it, I've got this neighbour, and he's always getting locked out, isn't he? He's, he's never got his key, so he's pressing my buzzer. Well annoying! But, do I ignore him? Well, I have once or twice put it on privacy. Uh, but, what I thought for is, well, what would I do if I was stuck out there? Funny thing is, not too long ago, probably about three or four weeks ago, I did, very rare for it to happen, forget my keys. And who should have to let me in but my annoying neighbour? So, now I feel like I've always got to answer the buzzer and let him in because who knows when I might need his help to get in. So you do unto others like you would want to be done unto yourself. That's what it says here. Well, I reckon if we was all to be prepared to make sacrifices, like uh, Jesus and the other people uh, who keep the golden rule say, do unto others as we would have done unto us, we could all give something up for the benefit of the people in Pakistan and other parts of the world where they're suffering. Well, I recently bought some beers. I won't tell you uh, the brand because that's not important. Box of 15 and all it cost me was £10. Well, I see people wandering around the supermarkets with two or three or four of these boxes in their uh, baskets and it wouldn't hurt them or me to give up one of those, send the money to the Disasters Emergency Committee or the British Red Cross, help those poor people who are suffering from cholera and nowhere to live and little kids wandering around without any shelter or proper clothing and no medicines. I mean, it would be a worthwhile sacrifice. I don't drink too many of these. I'll probably have a bottle or two left by uh, Christmas time. Not that I keep Christmas. I'm not a heavy drinker anyway. But if you are, it's even less of a sacrifice to you. And it will do you good. The golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.